All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you uh, this evening. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Conversations. I'm your host, Bryant Mora. And today we have got uh, Brother um, Odain um, com- coming on the show with us today. He's the evangelist and a young uh, pastor, preacher, uh, doing a wonderful work. If you could tell everybody again, um, brother, where you are located, if you don't mind. Lord, I'm located on Cohoes, New York. And you're doing your, your, I'm sorry, Cohoes, New York. Let me turn the music off here, bro. Correct. Praise God. Yeah, it's been a while since we were actually um, able to get on here. What what all has been going on in the ministry and yes. what you've been doing uh, uh, since the last time we've been on, if you don't mind just catching us all up. Yes. Um, so, I, you know, I've still been um, basically evangelizing uh, on the streets. Uh, I've also been putting up YouTube videos. I also did um, another interview with um, another brother in Christ, um, Brother um, Prophet Charles Walker, um, as we talked yeah. about ministry there. So um also gave a message um out in Kenya. Um I haven't I haven't gone out there yet, but God willing, uh, as the doorways open, I'm you know, I plan on going to Africa. But other than that, that's you know, that's that's what I've been what I've been doing, just you know, ministry of work and um praying with other brethren as well. Amen. So. Love to hear that. I love to hear that, bro. That's awesome. Uh staying busy for the Lord. Uh, yes. Praise God. Well, um, tonight we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about parables, guys, and that's what Jesus would do. He would use an illustration uh, to reach his audience, um, you know, and the story by itself, it would have value, but there would always be a deeper meaning than just the surface. So yes. before we uh, deep dive into that, bro. Let's go ahead and um, open with a word of prayer. Do you mind opening us up with prayer? No, I don't mind. I don't mind. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks, O Lord, for gathering us in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Even our Lord God, we ask, O Lord God, to continue just to strengthen us, O Lord God. Enlighten us with your wisdom, O oh Lord God, as we, we dive into this parable, O oh Lord God, as we um, edify each Amen. other, O oh God. Grant us even more and further understanding, O oh Lord God Almighty. Reveal even hidden things to us, O oh Lord God Almighty. Whatever yes, you want to share, O oh Lord, with, with your people, O oh God, whatever whatever will build us up, O oh God, whatever will extort us, O oh God. Hallelujah, God. Edify us, O oh Lord God, so we may continue to oh, walk with more close to you so we may continue to obey your word oh god we may continue to bear fruit in christ jesus all for the praise and glory of your name oh lord god so yes, our light can shine brighter oh lord god you yes, know the god. times that we're living living in oh god they're getting darker and darker and our lights need to shine brighter yes, and brighter lord jesus. continue to strengthen your people oh lord god Hallelujah. and direct our path continually in the mighty name of jesus christ we touch and agree and we pray even now yes god Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for that, brother. I appreciate it. And so um, I'm not sure if you were able to figure that out, you know, doing the share screen or not. Uh, can, Can you see the screen? Yeah. Let me pull it up here. And there you go. Cool. How about you? Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Perfect. I see it on there, bro. If you want okay. to, I'm seeing the uh, um, the parable of the weeds. I'm seeing um, where you have it, um, Ezekiel chapter 17, 1 through 10. Oh, I'm cross reference. One. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. And so uh, go ahead. Where are we at here? This That's the cross reference. But what chapter is this? So that everyone this is will know. Matthew, 
This is Matthew chapter 13. Okay. Matthew chapter 13. Praise Go me. ahead, bro. What verse are we we're on? Gonna, we're going to start at verse 24. Perfect. Um, as we as we understand, you know, Jesus, he eventually end up speaking to the people in parables. Um, he and the reason why he spoke to them, you know, according to you know what, what's written, you know, he's he said, Unto you, you know, unto the disciples, is given to them to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it's not given. For whosoever has to him shall be given, and shall have more in abundance. Um, so we began to speak in parables, which basically, you know, is designed to hide and at the same time reveal. It reveals the meaning is revealed to you when you seek it. You know, it shows your your interest and your desire for more. And when you actually begin to seek more, the meaning of the parables they're revealed to you. This parable I wanted to touch on, the parable of um, the weeds, it's also known as the parable of the tares and wheat. I'm going to start at Matthew verse 24, and it reads, Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. I want you to pay attention to this part. All right, so I'm going to continue. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then has it tares? He said unto them, an enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, nay, lest while you gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Amen. Then if we move down to <clears throat> verse 36, he, explain, he, he basically explains it. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tears of the field. Now, if you, if you notice, if you read Matthew chapter um, 13, when he begins to explain these parables, only two parables he explains openly, and it's written down. And it's the parable of the, um, of the sower and the, and the parable of the um, weeds. I'm sorry, three of them. Another one is the parable of, of, the, of the net, of the net cast into the sea. That's another one he explains a little bit. Okay, so declared unto us the parable of the tares of the field. Verse 37, he answered and said unto them, he that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all Amen. things that offend, and them which wow. do iniquity and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Mm. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father, who has ears to hear, let him hear. Ouch. Mm. <laughs> wow. Amen. 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 So, as we can see, Jesus... Um, gave the explanation that there's there's two seeds um on this earth there's um there's two and he described them as the children of the kingdom being mm. one and he also said the children of the evil one all right mm -hmm. in the parable on verse 26 he said 
But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, mm -hmm. then appeared the tears also. All right. So as I, as I did um, some research some time ago, mm -hmm. if you look into weeds, um, tears, and wheat, it is said that in their early stages, you, you cannot tell them apart. They look exactly the same in their early stages. But as it reaches maturity and it, it reaches the maturity level and it fully matures, the wheat is said to have fruit and the weight of the fruit causes the wheat to actually bow down to the earth. Hmm. While the, the tares, they don't have fruit, but rather they, they have these black seeds on the heads of them and they stand up straight. They stand straight up tall. They just stand straight up. And this, this allows the farmer to be able to discern which is a wheat, which is a tear. Wow. So what Jesus is saying is when the, the wheat actually began to bear fruit, the tears actually become obvious. You will know them by their fruit. Exactly. You see where I'm going. Wow. Wow. Where I'm going. And that's that's what it all ties into. And if, if you read Matthew, I mean, John chapter 15, where he talks about fruit, bearing fruit, abiding in him, bearing fruit, every branch in him that brings forth fruit, the father purges. That way it brings more fruit. But every branch that doesn't bring more fruit, the, every branch that doesn't bear fruit is, is cast away, is cast from him. Amen. And such branches are gathered together and they're thrown in the fire. Amen. So what sets what sets apart the children of God from the children of the evil one mm. is the fruit. The fruit. A sign that the Holy <clears throat> Spirit is in the person. You know, the scriptures tell us that the spirit in us bears witness with our spirit mm -hmm. that we are children of God. And if you're a children of God, you're going to reflect your father. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you, you know, um, he was saying there that um, verse number 37, he that soweth the good seed is the son of man. That's right. All right. So there's good seed. Yep. And the good seed are the children of the kingdom. Right. That's right. Praise God. And, the, right. and it, it was the enemy uh, that sowed the wicked one or the tares, which are the That's children right. of the wicked one. Uh -huh. So and 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 uh, the way That's that right. we could tell the difference is how they are conducting their life, the fruit. That's right. So uh, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say this is. um. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to um I'm gonna turn to um another verse. Um cool. Um, Let me know when you're there and then I'll pull it back up on, on the screen there. Yep. Um see if I can find it. This is good, man. Yeah, it it's 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 deep. It, it's it's um I believe it's um it's in first John. But basically, um, let's see if I can find that verse. First John three. That's it. All right. First John chapter three. Okay. Let's see if I can get this here now. So I'll go into, i use Bible Gateway. So basically, let me just, okay, so as I'm going to read this, you're going to see that they're just going to explain plainly <laughs> what Jesus taught them, plainly what Jesus taught them. Uh, I'm going to start from, I'm just going to start from verse one. 
King James Version. Oh, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Hmm. Beloved, now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be. Wow. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth has not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. Pay attention to that. Let no man deceive you. <laughs> he that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. That Amen. is clear as daylight. That's clear as daylight. <laughs> That's clear Amen. as daylight. You, you, you will hear people say, you will hear people say, oh, we can never, we can never stop sinning this and that. Mm. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness Amen. is righteous. Even as Amen. he is righteous, he Praise that committed God. sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Who the Word of God does not commit sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot Amen. sin for the Word of God. Now listen to this. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. Wow. You see that? Yeah. For it's this powerful. is the message. Yeah, it's powerful. It, it, it's plain. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and wow. slew his brother. And wherefore yeah. he slew him? Because his own works were evil, and his mm. brother is right. I'm going to stop right there. Well, this, I mean, it ties right in with yes. the same scripture because it, it talks about the wicked one. It talks about righteous, you know? Yes. And so, um, go ahead. Yeah, they're basically um, explaining what Jesus taught them throughout um, them walking with Jesus during Jesus' ministry. We're pretty mm -hmm. sure they asked them a lot of questions. This is how they got that knowledge. Jesus explained to them how they will be able to discern child of god from the child of the wicked one yeah and yeah and it said it said plainly there that was in first john chapter, chapter three, three chapter three um i'm just gonna go there yes and first john chapter three yes i went to second john nope. chapter three yeah, what I was wanting to point out here was yes. that it said, where was that at? In this, the children of God are manifest mm -hmm. and the children of the devil. Mm -hmm. So in this, so you're going to see which seed yep. somebody is of. Yep. If you're doing righteousness, yep. then you are of the children of God. That's all right. Because right. he said, he, uh, verse number nine said let, let, let's read verse eight yes. he that committeth sin is of the devil uh -huh. for the devil sinneth from the beginning for this purpose all right for this purpose the son of god was manifested that's right that he might destroy the works of the devil right. so how god destroys the work of the devil uh -huh. is when the seed of God has been sown into your life. Yes. Jesus Christ, the seed of the righteous one, mm -hmm. is mixing with your soul, which is your mind, your will, and your mm -hmm. emotions. Mm -hmm. And you're responding to that word. Yes. Instead of responding to the lust of the flesh, That's which right. has the desire to do sin. That's right. You're responding to the righteousness of god that's right i want to do righteousness with god i want to be in christ that's right i don't want to be in sin i want to be yes. in, christ. in christ yes right? yep. and so verse 9 said whosoever is born of god mm -hmm. doth not commit sin mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So when you have that born again mm-hmm. experience, amen, that you are uh, born of the water, born of the spirit, yep. the word of God means something to you. Jesus means something to you. That's right. So my, now you're going to have problems sinning. Yeah, that's right. It basically means a lifestyle. You don't live a lifestyle of sin. That's what it's saying. Basically means you don't, you're not living a lifestyle of sin. Yeah. See, yeah. back in the day, it didn't have no forethought, didn't didn't mind to go party, didn't mind to go <laughs> smoke, didn't mind to go, you know, do those things. In fact, we craved it. We lusted after it, yep. you know, um, and we did it, you know. But when Jesus comes into our life and right. you're putting on the mind of Christ, mm-hmm. Christ Jesus was not a sinful man. No, he wasn't. You know, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness, yeah. Yeah. All right. And so God's kingdom is righteousness. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like how you brought both of these together, you mm-hmm. know, because Jesus is bringing out that parable, man. Mm-hmm. Um, and yes. the people that are, are planted in the world, mm-hmm. you know, that's his mm-hmm. children. Yes. You know, it's his mm-hmm. children, children yep. of, of righteousness. Praise God. Amen. Yes. Definitely. And it's, um, as, and as we um basically look back, you know, at the parables, you know, the 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 seed, you know, as you mentioned, that that word, that's word that's implanted in you, you know, which comes from Christ, the Son of Man, how as He speaks that His word. There's also the tares, you know, that's being sown, you know, false doctrine being sowed into people. Whenever you the um the word of God, the truth is sown into someone and they believe and obey this truth, they're going to bear fruit. They're going to bear fruit. They're going to bear fruit. You know, they're going to know the truth and the truth is going to set them free. Right. But when people hear these tears, these false doctrines, and it's sown into people and they believe these false doctrines and they don't know the truth, they will be in bondage. Right. Wow. And these teachings, will cause them to believe, right? Believe a lie, right? That they can yeah. live any any way, you know, that they don't have to change. Believe me, I, I've heard it, you know, I, I've, I've heard it throughout, um, throughout Christendom, you know, it's very sad, you know? Um, teachers like, um, oh, we can never be free from sin, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, we can never be perfect. Bible doesn't say that. <laughs> Jesus said, be therefore perfect, as your father in heaven is perfect with the power of the Holy ghost living, living in you, you can do that. Um, Paul said, I believe it's in Romans. Um, though you were, you know, you were, you were slaves of sin. You were, you were, um, free from righteousness, but now that you become free from sin, you become a slave of righteousness, you know? So we can be free from sin. It's the truth. When the word of God comes in you and lives in you, it sets you free from the power of sin. Amen. Sin is no longer your master. Sin Amen. is no longer your master. You, you can live freely and obey the word of God, live in, in the righteousness of God. Amen. You know? So those, those false teachings, you know, as people believe them and they live by them, they become the children of the devil and they, they live a sinful lifestyle and they they develop no more conviction in them. Wow. You know, it's sad. Yeah. Like easy believism, you know, like no lifestyle change. And yeah, exactly. Live, no, no lifestyle and, change. And just professing Christ. You know, that's, there's a lot the of people that profess Christ. He even said that there's going to be many that will call me Lord, Lord. Yes. You know? Yes. And they're not going to enter in. That's right. No, and what because... did you, you, yeah, Jesus said, "Workers of lawlessness." Yeah, and, and like in First John, it says, "Sin is lawlessness." Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah you said um, clear as day, right? Yeah, clear, <laughs> clear as day. As, um, you know, it's uh, the the seed. Whether you're planting apples or oranges, you're not going to plant an apple and, and reap an orange. That's right. Right. And vice versa. And and that's just how God put it up. So the seed is going to beget after its kind. Yes. So 
if what's sown into you is sin, then you're going to keep reproducing sin. That's right. But if this son of God, this right. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was planted in you, mm -hmm. then it's going to reproduce after his kind. That's right. And we, you know, as believers, the good ground, mm -hmm. right? That's right. Because in the, the other the other parable was that there were four types of ground. That's right. Yes. Parable of soil. Yep. Amen. So there was uh, that wayside ground. There was mm -hmm. the stony, yep. stony ground and the thorny ground and then good yep. ground. And the good ground. So depending on what kind of ground we are, mm -hmm. you know, the seed is him. Yes. The seed is the word of God. That's right. But we'll determine what kind of ground we are and how this word of God is going to affect our life. Yes. You know? And, and uh, man, I appreciate the, the parables, how... Mm -hmm. How Jesus uh, taught, you know. Yes, yeah, you know, and, and as I said, like um, in the in the scripture, he only explains like I think two or three: the the sower, tears in the wheat, and the dragnet. Every other parable is not the explanation. Explanation is not written, but it's for us to seek. <laughs> Amen. And revelation, so right? Exactly, revelation, mm -hmm. revelation. It's it's almost like itself is a parable is word of god you know mm -hmm. where his disciples see and his disciples walk with him everybody else on the outside they're not walking with him they're not his disciples they're not his students mm -hmm. wherefore he doesn't explain to them the meaning it's Come on, man. yeah but it's veil, like a veil a, a veil thank you a veil but you being a disciple that lives with him, that walks with him lives in him he reveals through revelation the meaning Amen. of the things, even the Amen. ones that's not written. He reveals it to you. Amen, brother. Amen. Yes, that's right. The, the spirit of revelation. The, he said that the, the Holy Ghost this is the spirit of truth. He's going to lead you and guide you into all truth, into all truth right? Yeah. Yes. And you're bringing up that point that he only revealed it to his disciples. Yeah. And you're uh, the master. If you spend time with the master. Yes. Uh, you know, he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophet. That's right. Amen. Yeah, that's right. so, <laughs> yeah. That's right. You know, we're, we're deep diving tonight, brother. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's, <laughs> I said this is like a parable in itself, man. Because if you, if you, if it's like, it, it, it's it's amazing, right? As um, <laughs> as I was reading reading the um, Bible, you know, throughout the years, you know, I began to wonder why, you know. And Jesus talking in parables. But if you read through Matthew, when he started out, he never spoke in parables. He was preaching the gospel, the kingdom of God, plainly as day. Up front. Plain, yeah. Plain yeah. as day. He was preaching it, right? Mm -hmm. But what happened is, this comes by revelation, right? The Holy Spirit taught me. He perceived, right? People, they're hearing the message, but they're not changing. They're not obeying it. They're not changing. So it begins to speak in parables and it ties in with Ezekiel. I mean, is it Ezekiel? I believe it's Ezekiel. It ties in with Ezekiel, hmm. where it says, Son of man, speak to these rebellious people in parables that have eyes, but they see not, ears, but they hear not. Showing you any time when you hear the word from God and you still disobeying it, the message will become veiled from you. It will become veiled. Hmm. You, you, you're not going to understand anymore. It's, it's hidden from you because you're not obeying. So the people are not obeying his word. They're not obeying his message. And he's been, he's been preaching plainly, but they're not bearing fruit. The disciples, however, who are following him, mm -hmm. they're obeying him. They're, they're bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. And that's why he used the term, the, the phrase that you'll hear throughout the Bible. To whoever has more is yeah. given. Oh, and okay. will have an abundance. Yeah. But to whoever does not have, even what little they have shall be taken from them. He's basically saying, whoever increases what's given to them, more will be given to them. But if he gives you something and you're not increasing it, wow. then what you have is taken from you. Wow. So they're not obeying his teaching. All of you, they're not obeying his teaching. He's been preaching plainly and they're not bearing fruit. Okay, well, now right. he's going to start speaking in parables. But you're dis his disciples, he said to you, he's been given the mystery because you're actually obeying me. So he's going to tell you the secrets of these parables. Amen. It's, it's okay. almost like what he said too. Uh, to him that hath an ear, let, let him hear. hear. Yep. 
what the spirit is, is saying, right? And and man, that's powerful. Is there any way that you could pull up um, Galatians for yes. ch chapter five, and yes. and 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 let's start with verse um, sixteen because I wanna I wanna get into this here, and, and we'll we'll go all the way down to the end of the chapter if you don't mind. Yes, no problem. You said on um, verse 16? Yeah, Galatians chapter 5. We'll start with verse 16 and, and go on down. Yeah, I'll let you read that out loud, okay? Because this is going to talk about, I'm saying the fruit. Let me know if you can see it on your screen. Yeah, it's up there, brother. Yes. All right, ready? All right. Mm -hmm. okay. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. I'll stop you right there, because remember, yep. we're talking about the different kingdoms. That's right. Right. And then the tares. Yep. All that list right there, that laundry list right there that needs to be cleaned up. That's right. You know, we, we used to be on that list. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to be the tears of, of we used to be the 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 tears. We used yes. to be mm -hmm. um, part of the enemy's kingdom. That's you right. Know? And you can identify with that kind of fruit, uh, you know, because I used to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, same here. <laughs> Me too. But when the Lord came into our life mm -hmm. and he brought change, he brought righteousness, he brought uh, forgiveness, right? He brought yes. forgiveness. He brought he brought his power to break that sin hold off of us. Yes. Where we're no longer a slave to the evil deeds and and the lust of our flesh. Right. That's right. And now look what he brings to us. Um, if you want to keep going, brother. Verse 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. Amen. Amen. It's it's powerful. You know, I like how uh, Jesus is teaching us in parables and he wants yeah. us to be aware, you know, that's right. He, he wants us to pay attention to our environment, pay yes. attention to our neighbor, pay attention even to ourselves. Yes. And, yes. and we're going to know what kind of, you know, who's who who do we belong to by our actions and how yes. we are living our life. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. Daily, you know, it's a it's a it's a daily fight. We must crucify the flesh daily. You know, as Jesus said, if any man would come after me, let him deny himself, pick his cross daily and follow. Him, you know, so it's a it's a daily thing that we have to continue to deny the lust the passions because the, the enemy is going to come and tempt us he's going to come and tempt us as long as we in this world in this flesh he's always going to try and come and tempt us and it's our responsibility to deny it to deny that to resist him the book of james it says submit yourselves to god resist the devil and he shall flee you know so we have a part to play daily amen and we got to be, you know, um, we got to be very mindful, mindful of those things, you know. Yes. 
Um, the enemy is just looking, looking for a place that you would give him an inch. You know, you give him an inch, he's going to take a whole mile, you know. Yes. And um, he can't wait for us to slip up because if we slip up, then he's going to come with all that condemnation and all that yes. guilt and all that stuff, you know. So what I'd like for us to do, um, bro, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. um, let's pray for um, some of the viewers. Yes. Um, do a little bit of tag team praying right Pretty now, good. and then um, um, we could close out uh, this evening. But, brother, I really appreciate you coming on and, and talking about the parable. I hope that um, it's going to be an encouragement to somebody that find, finds it on the YouTube, on the Facebook, and whenever you share it, also on your platform too, okay? Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Let's, uh, mm -hmm. let's pray, and yes. we'll just follow the... The leading of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Heavenly Father, we, we give you thanks, O Lord God, for this time of teaching, O Lord, and for gathering us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, those parables, O Lord, they have deep spiritual truths in them, O Lord God. And I'm praying, O Lord, that your people continue to seek, O Lord God, because it is written, seek and you shall find, ask and it shall be given, knock and the door shall be opened. Lord, continue to strengthen us, O oh Lord, and help us, O oh Lord, to live a life pleasing to you, O oh Lord, to oh, offer our bodies of a living, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable oh, to you, O Lord. Lord God, which is our reasonable service, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Touch us, O oh Lord God. Touch your people. Touch the viewers that are watching, O oh Lord, and them that may, be, that may watch it in the future, O oh Lord God. I pray mm -hmm. that it reaches their hearts, O oh Lord God. That they oh, come yeah. to see, oh Lord, what's Lord. pleasing to you, oh God, how we're supposed Lord. to live yeah, before your Father. Hallelujah. To bear fruit in Jesus Christ Amen. unto the praise and glory of your name, oh Lord God. Lord. To live holy, oh Lord. To live righteous, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Yeah, For it God. says, hallelujah, that we're supposed to live righteous just as you are righteous, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Help us mm. to continue to deny our, our fleshly mm. lusts, oh Lord God. These affections, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Shandam. Daily, oh God. Hallelujah. Carrying our cross. Shandam. Following your son, Jesus. Oh Lord Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us, oh Lord God, to be diligent in your work. Oh, oh yes, God. Hallelujah. Shandam. Not to be slothful, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, even now I'm praying, oh God, that they may be set Shandam. Free, oh Lord God. Anyone that's struggling, oh God, with Shandam. anything, any type of sin, any type of bondage. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Christ, oh God. Break I'm it off. Praying, oh God, that they, they be Break broken, it off. That bondage be broken. I agree, Lord. Jesus Christ, that they be set Jesus. free. Whom the Thank Son sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. So I'm Lord praying, God. oh God, that break every generational curse, Thank oh Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Sever Thank ungodly Lord. soul oh, ties, oh Lord God. Break ungodly Lord. Hallelujah. Ungodly generational curses. Yes, Lord. Oh God, sever them and Jesus. break them in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. It says that sin shall not have Jesus. dominion over us, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Because we're not under the law, but under grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we thank you, O oh God, oh, for God, the freedom you've given us in Christ. Hallelujah. We thank you, O oh God, for the blessings bestowed upon mm. us, O oh God. For your Jesus. children. We thank you, O oh God, for that power you've given to us through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you're a mighty God, Lord. Yes, you're a yes, mighty yes, God. Yes, Lord. yes. Oh, Father, we just thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. Hallelujah. We thank you, God Almighty, that we are made clean through yes, your word, yes, God. Yes. We thank you for the power of your yes. word, God, Hallelujah. the power of thank your you, Lord. truth, Lord God, thank you, Jesus. to reveal, to show, Lord Hallelujah. God, to light our path, to light Hallelujah. our way, God. Oh, Jesus, getting to the Hallelujah. very core of who we are, God, Hallelujah. showing us, Lord, reproving yes. us, correcting us. Yes. God. If there's any way that's yes. uh, incorrect, God, if, if there's any way that's yes. displeasing to you, God, yes, yes. let our brothers and our sisters yes. acknowledge it. Let them recognize it. Yes, God. Lord. Yes, if Lord. they don't know who you are, Jesus, yes, let them feel your presence. Yes, see yes. your truth, oh God. Truth, Lord. We pray for change, God. Change, Lord. Pray, change. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name Christ, of God. Jesus Christ. And, Hallelujah. And they don't want to continue in wickedness or no, in ways, God Almighty, that's leading them away from you, oh God. Hallelujah. I agree with my brother's prayer. Break yes. the Hallelujah. power of Satan, God. Yes. Break the power of the evil one. 
Break yes. the power of the wicked one, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let your seed in Jesus' name be planted in the mind, Hallelujah. the soul, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The, the will, the emotions, God, of our brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus, and those that don't know you, God. We just thank Hallelujah. you, God. Thank you. That your seed is going to reproduce a new life. Yes. Yes. Your seed, yes. hallelujah, is landing hallelujah. on good ground tonight. Yes, Lord. Lord. We just thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that you're going to water that seed. Hallelujah. Yes. It's hallelujah. going to nourish. It's going to grow. It's going to form. It's going to yes. have roots and develop in hallelujah. Jesus' hallelujah. mighty name. It's going to be yes. strong and yes. grow. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Like a tree that's planted by the rivers yes. of water. Hallelujah. hallelujah. That in their season, hallelujah, they're going to flourish. Hallelujah. They're going to yes. have fruit in fruit. Jesus' name. Because you called us, Lord, yes. to be fruitful, fruitful. Lord. You hallelujah. called us to multiply, yes. God. Yes, You yes. said that our fruit should remain, yes. Lord, in Jesus' name, God. We just yes. thank you that you're the true vine. Yes, we're connected to your righteousness. We're connected to your holiness. Connected to we your just Lord. thank you, God. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Love you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Minister to every uh, a body that needs a healing, God. Yes, yes. We touch Hallelujah. and agree right now, That's God. We speak healing. Healing. We speak healing. life. We life. speak, Lord, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Like your healing. stripes. We were healed, Lord. Yes. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, stretch out thy hand, O Lord. Hallelujah. Quicken them, O Lord God. Yes. Body, mind, and soul. Quicken them. Raise them up, O Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In the name any of mental Jesus. illnesses, God. Any yes, anxiety, Lord. God. Any depression, God. Hallelujah. We break it, Lord. Break it. We break it off their break mind, God. We break it. Break it off their emotions. Anybody yes, that's battling Jesus fatigue, Christ. God, and tiredness, God. Yes, oh Lord. We Hallelujah. command that you have life and be rejuvenated and be restored yes. and be renewed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Hallelujah. Is Revive, Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Revive. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. Thank you. Oh, move, Lord, move, Lord. Holy Ghost, thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Abba. Hallelujah. My Father, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we worship you. We worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Man, his presence is so awesome. Yes, yes, it is. The presence of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Brother, were you seeing anything while we were praying? Or sometimes the Lord shows us uh, different things or. Anything come to your mind? Just I was just, just seeing the Lord on his throne. Oh, hallelujah. Praise I just saw, seeing the Lord on his throne it, that, that came to my mind. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You're holy. You're holy, yes, Lord. Lord. You're yes, holy, Lord. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're the holy one. You're our Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank, thank, you, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You know, he said in the in the time of the harvest, he's gonna send forth his angels, mm -hmm. and they're the ones that's gonna bind up all the all the different tears mm -hmm. and everything that's in his kingdom that offends god's gonna remove those things yes and so if that's if that's you and you know that you need to get right with god our appeal to you tonight yes is to don't don't continue in your sins yes if you're a child of God and you're willfully disobeying the Lord and you're doing idolatry and you're doing that whole laundry list of things that you know yes. you should not do, you're blatantly committing willful sin. Yes. I charge you, brother or sister, I charge you 
to lay that sin down, yes, yes. to repent, to repent while there is time and get right. There's yes. no sin that's worth losing your soul over. Yes. It's not worth it. Get right with the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Thank you, presence is awesome it's powerful man powerful man no words can describe you lord Hallelujah. you know you're talking about like he shares his his uh the meaning of the parable with his disciples you know mm -hmm. and it's moments like this that his presence is just mm -hmm. so uh yes. It's like, okay, Lord, what do you want to say? What do you yes. want to do? You know, like yes. we're hanging on mm -hmm. that moment with the Lord, you know. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. You know, he's worth following. Yes. He is worth following. Yes. Seeking after, you know. And, yes. And I love it um, when you have a, uh, you can do this with anyone, you know, whenever two or three are, Got it, yeah. are gathered together in his mm -hmm. name. It's know? amazing. Yeah. And it's up to uh, up to the, the people if they want the Lord to interact like that. Yes. Know? Being sensitive to his spirit, mm -hmm. you know. Well, what a what a what a journey! You know, he allows us to, you know, flow with him. Yes, exactly. He leads, we follow. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And and then uh, he likes the chase too to see if you're interested. You know, mm -hmm. if you're gonna go down the rabbit hole, if you will, and yeah. take things out. You know, <laughs> yep. stuff. You know, that's awesome. It's amazing, man. Praise God. Well. Um, Brother Odin, I, I just want to tell you, thank you for um, doing this with me uh, tonight. Yes. I, I like I like uh, uh, doing a Bible study and then getting your take on it and stuff like that. I love it, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then being able to pray uh, with the viewers. Um, yes. So let's try to do this more often. Let's not. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, let's I agree. Not, not let it be like months before we get on yeah. here again and. And um, hopefully we could get some other brothers or sisters on here too. Definitely, know? definitely. Uh, I, I I really enjoyed this. I really did. You know, it's 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 refreshing. Even now, I still feel the presence of God. It, it's, it's refreshing, man. It, it's 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 just refreshing when you can fellowship with another brother in Christ. You know, and pray, edify. You know, it's iron sharpens iron. <laughs> what we could probably do is uh, do communion sometime. Yes. Right? That's a good idea. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You no. Know, yes. We could do that. He said, as often as you do this in remembrance yes. to me, you know. So let's uh let's try to do that. And then um as the spirit leads, mm -hmm. um, we could um do some Bible study or Bible reading and, and then discuss it. Amen. Amen. Cool. Well, um, brother, I want to uh, I'm gonna um, pull you off to the side real quick and then Tell everybody and then just just hang tight and we'll talk for a little bit, okay? All right, cool. No Praise problem. Praise the Lord, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, episode of Spiritual Conversations. Why don't you dig into the parables of Jesus uh, tonight and see what he's go going to reveal to you. Not necessarily what he explains to the disciples, but see what kind of revelation the Spirit of the Lord will give to you. Guys, we love you. Uh, we appreciate you. We thank you for uh, tuning in this evening. Uh, this is going to conclude our time for this episode for Spiritual Conversations. God bless you. We love you. In Jesus' name. Praise God.